Hi, nice to meet you. It's quite a coincidence that we both do a talk about DSL, so... Yeah, that, that was fun. Uh, I, I, I attended your talk uh, that gave a little bit of brief, which I think I was missing, but I continued afterwards where, uh, like, import customization and security yep. customization. So, though I gave a little bit of introduction, but, yeah, I just quickly walked through that. Yeah, so mine was more beginners, I guess, and yours more advanced. So do you think it's difficult for people to start writing DSLs using Groovy? Yeah, it's not very easy, but once you get uh, comfortable with it, you can write it. And uh, But if it, it depends on the cost, what you want to do. Uh, if you want to make the life of a manager or, uh, you know, the... Where, for what purpose you are developing DSL? Uh, is it actually for developers? And I think developer can understand the language too, but if it's it's more about removing boilerplate code and uh, moving towards more English and fluency in programming language. For example, like, you know, uh, move Robert uh, five steps ahead. So that seems like an English, but it's actually a program running behind the scene. But it to answer your question, it depends on the context. Yeah, I can imagine. I also currently on a project doing a Groovy DSL. Do you also use it in your projects? Or? Yeah, we, we use DSLs and not directly in throughout the project because the project is more generic, but uh, some part of it uh, using time, uh, using categories and uh, some custom DSL for some specific use case, not the whole project. Mm -hmm. So I really also like that in Groovy world, a lot of DSLs already implemented, also for developers. So do you see that also? Yeah, I see a best use case would be, you know, uh, writing DSL over existing Java libraries. And uh, that is groovifying the libraries, right? And yeah, so I would like to know what you, where you are using DSL. Yeah, so currently I'm on a project where we do uh, patient selection mm -hmm. with all kind of properties. And we have this DSL that has English-like feel, actually. So we have command chaining uh, implemented and does queries on the database with a custom backend. That's where we use it for. So in the end, it's Groovy for the win for DSLs, I guess, so... All right. Thank you. Thank you.